there is a major event in my life that I'll definitely talk about really soon. But after this event happened, I was looking for some kind of answer. I needed something to be, something to calm me down, something to, you know, and I found this book called The Secret. To this day, you know, it just changed my life. I am big on the law of attraction. Like, I know it works. I know and believe that that which is like itself is drawn. If you think about two people in your life, and you think about maybe the most negative person, I guarantee you that the person that's negative and has the most going on in their lives as far as drama, turmoil, and things like that, I guarantee you when you talk to them, they are generally negative people on a negative basis. They will have you believe that the reason why they're negative is, is because things are continuing to happen to them. They aren't willing to accept the responsibility that that's not the case. I know it's to be true because I saw how it changed my life. I used to be so mean, very violent, in and out of jail. I had so much going on, but the moment I changed my life and found this book, you know, I haven't been the same. I was playing around with the law of attraction and I just became a writer with my very first book called Rainbow Heart. You know, I'm 57 books in right now and when I even think about that book, you know, I'm mortified and embarrassed, but back in the day, you know, I was really proud of that book. And my goal was to get on Oprah's show. And I would write it down because one of the things for the law of attraction, you wanna make sure you keep that in your mind. Whatever your goal is, whatever your desire, it has to be front and center in your mind all the time. And you have to be in a good mood to have it happen, even if you have to fake it. One of the things I would do is listen to music, if I had to have me a drink, although I don't rec recommend people doing you know that all the time, but for me, when I was trying to get out of my head, if I had to have me a drink, go out and have fun, the more fun you have while you're thinking about your desire, the stronger uh, the possibility of you attaining that will come. I'm doing all I can. I'm keeping the, the, the idea in my head that I want to be on Oprah's show. I want Oprah to save my book on her show. This is when she actually had the show. So then I got into my very first book deal with an independent company, and that was still my goal. So even though I had published my, I self-published my own book, my first book, Rainbow Heart, I now got to deal with an independent company and I was like, okay, I still want to get on Oprah's show. Then I started letting people get into my head and say, well, you know, Oprah don't do urban fiction. And although it was in my heart because I worked for it so long, you know, by focusing on it incessantly, like I would not stop thinking about it. I let that idea get into my head that you know, I would never be on her show. The sad part about it, even if I wasn't on the show for the urban fiction book, had I stayed, I could have been on the show for any other book. You know, anything could have happened where I would have been on her show. I let the dream go. No lie, about two or three weeks later, in the bed, and I turn the TV on. And I turn the TV on to a show that I have never watched a day in my life. And I just left it on. I wasn't even looking at it. I think I was writing another book, because I'm always writing. And I happened to glance up, and when I glance up, number one, was two things that stood out to me. First, is that the, sh the channel was on the Oprah Winfrey Network. And the second thing is that she's hold the girl who's on the show is holding my book. I've had so many different instances of the Law of Attraction. I mean, I could tell you so many different stories, and I will tell you so many different stories, um, of things that happened that it, it definitely occurred by my faith, uh, my, my, my love for God, my love for the universe. But this was proof positive. There are thousands, millions of books in the world. And the chance of this girl holding my book and me being home to see it, because this is not a show I watched, and me being home and to see it and present enough to look up at the TV at that time, she was holding my book because it was brief. That was nothing but God. That was nothing but the law of attraction because I'm going to show you the video at the end of this clip, but I just want people to know that it's definitely true. And if you stay in the right frame of, frame of mind, whether it be negative, if you're constantly a negative person, you're never going to have anything but negative. People will say, well, I know negative people with money because they are money conscious. Even though they may be negative in other aspects of their lives, they think about money all the time and money is their love. So they probably obsess over it. Um, and even though they obsess over it, even with, even with having the money, they're not happy. Some people say, bitch, you know, give me the money and let me decide. And then I get that, you know, because I was the same way too. But 
if money was the end all to the be all, then why are so many rich people or, or successful people, people who have attained millions, you know, why are there many, many cases where they've killed themselves? So, you know, that's going for another show. I just want to show you this video. Love you. I plan on just leaving this sitting there at the top of my bed. And one day, when I got real, real mad at Shmika, I was sitting up and I was reading a book that's called this box just kept on staring at me. So I took the box down. 